the world that we live in is way too apathetic. And what I just find strange and I don't really get is how people can sit there and they'll intentionally seek out reasons to hate somebody and look for ways to hate people and they'll take an issue and they'll di direct a level of hatred towards that issue that's far beyond what was actually done in the situation, right? Yet they're sitting there on their high horse acting like this person was supposed to be a perfect angel and it's like, well, if you really want to go the moral route, right? Then seeking out reasons to hate somebody is, it's about as low as you can go morally, right? It, it's really low, really down there. And my issue is not people having opinions, right? My issue is how can you be Satan but then say that because somebody's not a perfect angel, they deserve to be executed. That's the part that I don't understand. People have so many skeletons in their closet. They have so much hatred in their heart. They seek reasons to hate people. And let's be real. A lot of these things that happen that people get outraged over. The only reason they're outraged is because they're looking for a reason to hate people. And then people want to sit there and be like, oh, why is this whole group of people, why are they such extremists and all of this? But it's like, how do you expect people to not become extremists when we live in a world where if you're going through something, you're dealing with something, you feel some type of way. Everybody's apathetic. Nobody cares. Everybody is emotionally detached. And of course, there's so much stuff going on in this world that I can understand people not being emotionally attached to everything. But here's my whole thing, right? If there's too much for you to deal with, if stuff is going be, becoming overwhelming and whatnot, you could make the choice to not become involved with that. But rather than make that choice of not becoming involved with that, only going on to what you can handle when dealing with those situations, those people decide to involve themselves in those situations by throwing hatred towards that person, by letting that person know that they don't care, by making that person feel like that their feelings are not legit, they're not valid, they um, shouldn't be feeling that way, demeaning them, whatever, right? And then there's like a lot of words that that, you know, get used a lot, right? Like calling people fragile, right? When they have emotions. Thing is that everybody has emotions. If you didn't have emotions, you wouldn't be alive right now. It's a part of being a human being. It's something that we literally had no control over. We all have emotions. But it's easy to present yourself as emotionless when you're detached from something because you don't care because... It's not you. But the fact that you're so detached that you don't care just because of the simple fact that it's not you. That puts you in a position where it's like, well, how are you presenting that other person as evil? When. You're incapable of sympathy. Because here's the whole thing. Right. Empathy. Empathy. Is another level beyond sympathy, right? And in order for you to be on a high horse, at minimum, at least have empathy first. You could at least have that much, you know? If you don't even have that much, then it's like, well, what? Like, you don't even meet the qualifications to at least make the attempt to be some high horse ass motherfucker getting on everybody's nerves. You don't even have the prerequisites. Right? You you checking off literally zero of the fucking options. Because empathy is the fucking basics to even start. But you don't have that. And I just... I don't understand why people do that and why people think that's okay. And it's like, for example, the word simp, right? 
Let's be real about the word, okay? Simp is not a word for describing a group of people so that we can have an intellectual conversation. Simp is a word that you describe a group of people that you don't agree with and you have hatred towards those people, right? And you want to disrespect those that group of people when you use that word. I mean, that's the reality of the situation, right? So we intentionally use these things in order to express our hatred towards groups of people to, you know, say we really don't like these people. These people shouldn't exist, blah, 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 right? But then after using these words that people started using with the intention of having hatred behind it and being disrespectful behind it, then how do we turn around and point fingers at somebody else and say, oh, you're an extremist, but I'm using this word that is an extremist word in order to express that I hate this group of people. Like, how do you do that? Right? Like, how do you seek out reasons to hate people? Because when you seek out reasons to hate people, when you try to logically create you know, reasons like, right, calling somebody manipulative, right, when you have no evidence, right, you have nothing there, you don't know the person, you never dealt with the person, you literally have no evidence, but you're trying to twist reality, right, and then it's like, well, isn't that gaslighting, like, in a way, it's, I mean, it's the same thing as gaslighting, I mean, I guess it's not technically considered gaslighting because you're not directly talking to the person, but it's basically the same process of gaslighting, right? Where you twist reality to try to say that this person is this and this person is that. And I'm not saying that these people aren't manipulative or any shit like that, but what I'm saying is you literally don't know those people, right? I'm pretty sure like 99% of y'all never even fucking talked to those people, right? You never had a discussion, you never made the attempt to get to know or understand that person. Yet, you have come up with all of this bullshit out of your mouth. Explaining how logically this person is manipulative. Or they're a bad, horrible person. Or blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. When the reality is, is that if you've never met that person. You have no way of logically explaining how this person is manipulative or a bad person. You have to actually be around a person. You have to get to know the person. You've never even met the person. So there's no there's no logic behind that. Everything is assumptions and shit that you made up in your fucking head. I just don't understand this like level of fucking hatred that we have in this fucking world. And then those same people who send so much hatred at others and look for a reason to be hateful. Then they always want to flip the fucking script when hatred is being sent back towards them. What the fuck do you expect? When people keep having feelings, you keep telling them their feelings aren't valid. They can't have these feelings. And you try to turn them into these evil, devilish people all of the fucking time. Eventually, at some point, those people are going to throw hatred right back at you.